Yes, this um, is the climax, yeah. How excited are you that, uh, you know, finally we were able to celebrate? Yeah, uh, you know, I'm very excited because uh, when we started, we started in April doing the fundraising, which was uh, in uh, April. On the 20 26th, we had um, a golf tournament where the, the Honorable Vice President came to officiate. And from there, we had a series of activities. And we were uh, engaging our corporate companies to come on board. And most of the, as you have seen, we've had uh, a number of uh, corporate companies who have come on board. And this is making us so excited. But we're still appealing that, you know, such events need to be supported more. Because this is how we, um, we, we get to know who are we and we know our roots. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Now, starting from uh, 19, uh, in 1740, mm -hmm. the journey has been, you know, thrilling. And the history has not been lost. Yeah. First of all, you know, what has kept this... Uh, you know, culture together, and especially that you have settled here in uh, Luapula province. Yeah, you know, if you look at uh, how our uh, uh, our ancestors moved, they left the uh, uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, that is the the sons to Matiam to come and look for more land, and this is how you find we are coming to this uh, side of the, the the land, which is uh, Luapula province, and we didn't just end here. We had reached even as far as. Uh, 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 Eastern province there, you find people like Kazembe. Kazembe's names are only in Congo. So these are some of the things which made us to uh, come this far. Yeah. Great. Mm. And uh, of course, looking at the journey, has, uh, like the way it has been mm. from, uh, you know, Nganda Bilonda, mm. we now Nganga. Have, yeah, we Nganga now, Bilonda. Nganga Bilonda. Yeah, we that is what I want. 19, yes. you know, Mwata Kazembe. Yes. Talk to us about that, uh, you, know, you know, how important that is, and also, you know, from uh, one generation to the other, from 19th century. Yeah, you, you see, uh, if you're looking at Nganga Bilonda, who is the Mwata one, as he was marching into uh, Luapula province, you find that he was defeating these small tribes until he settled somewhere here. In fact, the Mofwe, then they came to the Mpombwe, Keleka. That is where our sites, and finally, this is where you find us in Mwasabombwe. So we've been in, in these places until we finally settled there. Now, what do we look for? We, are, we look for specific things which make us settle in that area. At the palace there, there is a Mwombwe tree. That signifies his power. That's why you see certain activities which were happening this morning. And this is, this is what is leading us now to this final grand finale. Yeah. yeah. And maybe take us through mm -hmm. uh, some of the events that we have seen from yesterday. Mm -hmm. I know that, uh, you know, this event uh, started as far as yesterday. And mm -hmm. uh, let's talk to us about what was happening, what has been happening from yesterday until now that we are about to witness, you know, the coming of Mwata Kazembe. Oh, yeah. So yesterday we had uh, Mwata going to Mpemboya Keleka. Mpemboya Keleka, that is where you find uh, a trench, which is about... Uh, is it is six kilometers in radius and two uh, meters in depth then three meters in width now this is where some of our MPs were protecting the the land now well, the significance of uh, that was just immediate there that is where the first palace which was built by Kele Kamos Mata number four that was in seven uh, in 14 uh, 1814 yes now look at how history uh, the history we have so it shows us that we are very much enlightened and, and very much rich in the history so this is how our uh, ancestors moved yeah mm. so that is the significance paying homage to the earlier martyrs we go there do some rituals then come back now as we are coming we go to Mpemboya Keleka what happens at Mpemboya Keleka we are now installing chiefs we are now installing headmans just to make sure that in all these areas we don't have gaps. Right. That is why you see that uh, the kingdom of Mwata Kazembe is one of the largest in Africa. And the, this kingdom extends from Mwatishi to Katuta Kampemba. And we have a, a number of chiefs. You can also look at the way the city is built. This is the only city which has well-articulated roads. 
Great. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we'll continue with uh, the breakdown of uh, the history that we have, uh, you know, for the Lunda people right yes, here yes, in Amwansa. Yeah. But for now, these are uh, the people that have come, obviously, to witness uh, the ceremony. And yes. they come from all the way from our eastern province. Yeah. And they are yeah. here to show us their dances as uh -huh. well as their songs. Let's just take a, uh, a listen to them. And, of course, we'll be back, you know, for more breakdown of uh, the history of uh, Mwataka Zembe. Thank you so much.
they had uh, just a uh, you know uh, camp and uh, and so yeah those uh, were the dances from uh, the people that have come here to witness uh, in uh, you know from uh, eastern province and now as you can see in the pictures that uh, you know the Mwata Kasembe has just arrived and uh, first of all uh, Mr. Muma, you know I can see that the chief has been carried on uh, something just talk to us about that yeah, that's a hammock and now like I was explaining to you a hammock is the that thread is now knitted to the these poles that thing is able to to shake but it won't come out so that is the whole thing this thing is only for him no one can sit on this one. No one has so ever sat there. So all mwatas have mm -hmm. specific hammocks. So there is nothing like you can transfer it to another mwata. No. Every mwata has its own because the mwata is buried with a hammock. So what happens to it uh, you know, when a new mwata comes? When the new mwata comes, another hammock will be made for him. Specifically what happens to this one? It goes with him. Okay. You cannot sit on uh, somebody else. Uh, throne. Now, one would think that uh, you know, something that is made out of the nails is mm. much stronger. Uh -huh. So why were the nails not <laughs> used in making this hammock? Why? Because it, it, we are trying to show you that by that time we never had nails. But we were able to use the resources we had to come up with such. So there's a lot of, and this shows you the ingenuity of our old men. They had a lot of, uh, what can I say? They knew how to come up yes, with something. Yes. yes. Mm. Now I can also see that the matter is that, uh, you know, beating something uh, that is, uh, you know, between there. So mm. he's hitting something. Yeah. What is that? That is, uh, uh, which one? He's hitting a drum. Yeah, the, yeah, he's hitting on the drum. That is a. Uh, Hello? Hello? Name has gone now. <laughs> you know, yeah, he's gone. Yeah, yeah, so okay, 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 yeah, 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 they, they have him now. Yeah. So what is that's, that drum? That's called? a talking drum. Okay. So the talking drum, water is able to cite and also give uh, alulations using the talking drum. Yes, yeah. I can also see the heart, uh, you know, that the matter is uh, putting on. Uh -huh. And uh, what's the significance of this? And how do you call it? The, 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 the what? The heart. The heart is now to, to eat at Ichibangula. Yeah, so, yeah, this is what he wears. This is what he wears. Like, this one is for the ceremonial. So, this one will be worn like the time okay. where there's uh, such an activity. What is it made out of? No, this is just cloth. And uh, uh, what do you call this? Otuma Ngulungu. Mm -hmm. So, they come up with that. Then they come up with those. Uh, I can hear the relation coming from uh, yes. the members of the public that have come here. Uh -huh. The Sikinkai is, you know, the entrance uh, yes, of, of Mwata, uh, Mwata Kazembe. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, you can see the people, uh, you know, around him. Others are in front of him. Yeah. Others are, you know, on on his either sides. Uh -huh. And others, uh, you know, just are behind. It looks like, uh, you know, this makes the people happy here. And the entrance really, you know, excites. Very exciting. People. As you can look, as you can see, most of these uh, royal family now are escorting their king to enter into the palace. Yes. So they are so happy that it, 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 for him just to come here, it's, it's very much an achievement. Yeah. yeah. So apart from the drum that we saw, we can also see uh, the, this, is it a tail of uh, an that's animal? A, that's a skin, zebra yes. skin. Yeah. Okay. So that is a zebra, zebra, zebra skin which is now also knitted to the hammock. Yeah. So the people that are carrying the hammock, mm. how do you call this? But how are they selected? The, the Fimankata. They are called the Fimankata. Okay. Yeah, these people, it's just a lineage. It's, you, it goes into families. You can't go into that. You graduate as a, a child who is from the Fimankata. The Fimankata are the ones who are responsible to carry water. Now, there's one thing you cannot do. You cannot jump the hammock. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, this time around, when water is in presence, you are not allowed even to put on a cap. So you can be even warn people that you are not supposed to be in a cap when you are in his presence. So yeah. what happens if you jump? <laughs> the the, the, you you will be made to pay. Okay. Yeah. They, they will get whatever they want, but again, you will be made to pay. I'm talking about the caps. In mm. the morning, we were at the palace, and no one was allowed to put yeah. on a cap. At his presence, you are not supposed to have a cap. Then again, you are not even supposed to be on a higher ground than him. Okay. So we can yeah. see Mumata yeah. is excited. That is his excitement. Yeah. He's showing that I'm the only one here. He's the only Mata on earth. Beside God, yeah. Okay, and also the songs that are being sung, we can hear people there. So they are saying Makapari Mfumu, meaning he is the only king. So
disembarking when he's leaving. So even when now he rises to, he cannot rise until the gunshot is hit. That's when you will see Kutugans perform the Umutomboko. Yeah. So much, uh, you know, communication that is, uh, you know, intertwined and also uh, something that is uh, rehearsed very well. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, you can see that uh, even the, the, the one that are, you know, holding the, uh, yeah, you know. Yes. Uh -huh. So they are, uh, they are dancing, 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 yes. yes. Uh -huh. And he's also dancing. He's also dancing, yeah. He's so happy and the, his people are so happy that, oh, our majesty has arrived. Yeah. And of course, uh, so as they are singing, he's able to answer in a woman. He's also singing he's also yeah. by drumming. By drumming, yeah. And so we can see that uh, Mata so is being uh, now. Uh, taken uh, on the lowering ground. Him down, yeah. And of course, uh, he is, uh, you know, just a stepping. Uh, out of his out abac, of, uh, yeah. his abac mm. and of course, uh, Umuselo, which is the yes, abac, yeah. the people that uh, you know carried uh, mm. the where he sat, yeah. Uh, also, uh, just uh, you know, so like I was, I was telling you earlier, mm -hmm. where these red, uh, the guys in red are, you are not supposed to pass them. Okay. And you are not supposed to be in front of him. Yeah. So that's how it, it's a symbol of power. Yeah. So that people are not allowed to uh, actually, you know, intervene with uh, no, what is happening here. To. Yeah, no. I can see one of the, the poor bears actually is uh, blowing something yeah. there. You have his children so, so. there, the mm -hmm. priests. The priests are closer to him. Then we have uh, the ones who dress him. Yeah, the, the people dress him. The the who are closer to him. Yeah. All right. So as we are seeing, the matter mm -hmm. is obviously uh, just uh, you know walking to his uh, 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 seat. seat. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we saw earlier on, uh, you know, at the palace mm -hmm. that uh, he had a meeting with uh, the uh, chiefs and also the headmen and dignitaries. Mm -hmm. That yeah. symbolizes uh, his. He was welcoming well. him. He was coming his chiefs to the palace to come and celebrate with him. Okay. So we were advised, can you invite some of our, our friends so that they come out also enjoy yeah. and see the splendor of Lopla Province. Yeah. So after he has just disembarked, he's going to have uh, a seat now, mm -hmm. and uh, of course uh, the matter is just moving. And obviously, he so just when he sits yes. that now, that's how the, the only way other uh, other people guests can now sit. Yeah. Right. So there is now a. Chair now, this is uh, the official chair that I've seen. Yes. Apart from the one that he came with, uh -huh. what do you call that chair? That, he that is just a common chair, but mm -hmm. that is a, a royal seat. Yeah, no one else sits on that. Like no one else no. sits on it. Yeah. So, like I was saying, each chief or each mortar has its own specific seat. Another gun has just yeah. gone off. So he, they are showing that it is, we are in the presence of Mata. So no sooner had the mortar sat, sat on his, his chair, yeah, then the gun sounded. went off. Yes. Another, yeah, and now my nerves are just coming down <laughs> as a result of that uh, gun. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about, uh, you know, uh, the matter went to the shrine and we saw, uh, you know, women carrying baskets uh, and, uh, you know, sacrifice that was a food and uh, they were, you know, carrying beef, chicken, uh, also rice and maize and they threw them into the river. Into the Ngona river Talk yeah. to us about uh, that. So the symbolic of that is uh, we remember our fallen martyrs, these two brothers who drowned. Now, like I told you earlier, that is just a symbol. These people drowned in Walaba River, which is a kilometers away from here. Yes. But we just want to do a significant a symbol somewhere closer, so that we're able to celebrate the, 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 the life and appreciating their life. So now, in paying homage, we always now give them food by throwing uh, these groundnuts, we throw meat and those other things. Okay, so Mata is uh, That is greeting. There. When he's doing that, meaning he's greeting him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's greeting us. There's somebody who is trying to maybe greet him, he will just do this. Okay. They are being greeted, yeah. And he's carrying something in his hand? Yeah. That's, that's what is cloth. that? That's, that's a cloth. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, Mwata Kazembe <coughs> has arrived here. Now, if you're looking uh, at the, mm -hmm. the, the, the what? The, the, the whole uh, uh, dress. It's quite uh, it's quite long. It's about 36 meters. Now, 36 that, is, meters. that thing is heavy. Okay. So no wonder when he's, he's moving, it's, well, it's, it's like moving him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dress uh, tends to, you yeah, know, shake. Uh, yeah. So his, his dressing takes a while. You can't just come out. So How many minutes has, approximately uh, does it take for Mwata uh, to dress up? Uh, maybe 20 minutes or so. Ten. Just 20 minutes, just having it on him. Yeah. Because, and again, you cannot put a belt in there. There is a special, there is a special belt which is a cloth, uh, not a cloth, which is the the skin All right. of a lion, which is there. Okay. Yeah. So let's just uh, listen to the national anthem that is uh, be uh, you know about to be sung here. Thank you.
for a word of prayer coming from Dr. Kabimbi, our former teacher and parent. Thank you. I'm standing as we pause for a word of prayer coming from Dr. Let us pray in prayer. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you this afternoon. We thank you for the wisdom that you had to create us in your image. We thank you for giving us this opportunity to come today and gather this moment. It has been your will that we gather as a family under Mwata Kazembe. We thank you, Father, that as we contain, continue doing this work that you have given us to do, help us, O oh God, give us the wisdom to do work and do the work that you have gathered here today. We thank you, Jehovah, for giving us the whole year to prepare for this particular important event. We know that there have been a lot of issues that have been going on to prepare for this event. But we thank you that your goodwill has been there for us every moment. And we thank you, Jehovah, that as we continue today to thank you for this particular day which you obtained and which you gathered to us for this today. Help us, O oh God, to realize that we are your children, your creations, that must do your work because you have given us a lot of efforts, a lot of websites and a lot of Jews. Jehovah God, we thank you this uh, particular event. Father, give us your wisdom, give us your way. Let your the event start as it has begun and continue to finish according to your will of way. We thank you, Jehovah. In Christ Jesus, we praise you with thanksgiving as we say, Amen. Maneli in tutulei kalako kuti tuwa ishimo kutila wa baba chila pepa wa Dr. Kavimbi wali fundileko mwati Wengi ukutula kunchende Sha lekana lekana Na haba, haba tuminwe Tualaba di lapo ndemo na tuwa chilumbula Wa honorable Garin Kombo Pamonga MP Minister of Local Government And Rural Development Paisa wa honorable Njavwa Simtowe MP Provincial Minister Of Luapula Province Honorable Frank Tayali MP Minister of Transport and Logistics Honorable Elisha Matambo, Provincial Minister for Copper Belt. Honorable Brenda Tamba Tamba, MP, Minister of Labor and Social Security. Honorable Warren Mwambazi, MP Bwanamkubwa. Honorable Mufalali, nominated. Elo Mwane, Natu Pokerela Ko, Nabashimu Chindikwa, Nabanamu Chindikwa. Aba le imini nako ichilonga nino cha PF. Aba ni ba Honorable Professor Nkanduluo, Honorable Jean Kapata, Honorable Danienga, na ba Honorable Kampampi Area MP for Mwansabombwe. That is our host. Tuatote la sana mwani. Isha mfumu ishi tutanda lile kufuma kunche ndesha lekana lekana. Bata nteme ngefi. Na tukwata Honorable Chief Madzimawe Kufumako Eastern Province Honorable Mfwene ato Honorable Aba chila lembe finivana Nchi toyara apwa His Royal Highness Chief Madzimawe Please I beg your pardon And accept my apology His Royal Highness Senior Chief Sailunga Ikundu From Mwinilunga Northwestern Province, Edio Naba, His Royal Highness, 
Ishima, Sankeni from Zambezi, Northwestern Province, Natukwata Nava, His Royal Highness, Chief Munukwa from Eastern Province, Ama Royal Highness Zafumine Munomura Pula Province, Nimbonapo, His Royal Highness, Chief Mivenge from Mansa District, His Royal Highness, Kalasaru Kangava, Mansa District. Mwane, Ngakuliva Mo Abon Shilumbuile, please don't count it as a matter of omission but as a serious oversight on which I would like to beg your pardon. Seriously. Kalambo Mwane Pari Nonshita, Ukwaboloku Pishenshita, Naraita Abana, Aba Malumbo Yakwa Mwata, Pagutila, Batupeleko, Amalumbo Yakwa Mwata, Ngachako Atibala, Kokolata Baipekenye. Banja bebuangu wangu pantu nshikokola, karombo mwani. I know the language they understand. Muchinchile, muchinchile, muchinchile nge fiofine. Paku ikata bane, mule ikata fionse fibili finji kete. Karombo. So before the, they go yeah. to the main uh, to the main stage, they have to seek permission by greeting. Yeah. So, so now, the permission that uh, they are seeking now. Let's just listen to what they are saying. Yeah. Uh, Maybe you can also tell us what they are talking about. Yeah, it's just uh, like they, they were trying to tell us where are, where are we okay. in the presence of His Majesty. That is now talking about water. This is the person. Uh, he, 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 uh, he presides over the Lunda people who are children of the, the people. Uh, these are praising that are coming from him. Yeah, they are praising him, yeah. Mm. This is where he reigns. What is she to the campaign? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 He was born and made sure that he was here. A gunshot when he was born. I can see that uh, it's a bit mm. 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 Akashiki meaning something which is about uh, Akashiki. It's got life, but it's a kind you know that. Yes, I Those are his ancestors. That's the lineage of Wachakas and Bias. Number three, but number three, yeah, Lukesa, Ilunga.
so he's trying, they're trying to tell us how his uh, empire is spread. So they started from Kashiva coming, they've been talking uh, at every site. Okay. Uh, that, uh, yeah. Uh, he's the presence. His presence, mother, yeah. Mm. Yes, so in the race, that, that's a, yeah. yeah. Mm. So those are running according to the, chief, the, the chiefs which are being mentioned there. Yeah. So that is the past martyrs. Yes. Yeah. Mm. That is very much attentive because now he's uh, it's like to uh, are they correct or are they telling it? <laughs> this brings yeah. uh, you know good memories. Very good memories, yeah. Mm. Mm. He keeps at, at he presides a lot of Ibilongo, meaning a lot of them. Mm. Mm. That is Lunda now. Mm. That Lunda you cannot get it. He's now gone deeper into the Lunda language. Mm. That they, 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 they should bring the grandson to Kamima. Yeah. Now this uh, chief sometimes you do you get the name of the you get the name of the yeah so that you are okay okay same you need to fulfill the power plan yeah that is that is uh, uh, great uh, why does that happen okay you know I I can I will talk off camera <laughs> okay yeah. Mm. Mm. That is again Linda. Like that's why we we, we always emphasize that uh, this is not the Bemba land. This is Lunda. This is yeah. So the Lunda uh, people spread from uh, Lupula to the northwestern province. We are like brothers because we live from the same place, which is Matayam's area. Matayam presides on these four people. That's why he's an emperor. Yeah. Look, you can also talk to us about uh, they are using Bemba. Yeah, quite... we are just combining because we are presiding on the land where the Bembas and the Visas were found. And not only that, there are certain sites which were whoever we defeat, we were now making them to man those places. So they are like our gatekeepers. Yeah, so we are able to relate in that way. Right. Because when they submit, they'll be able to now to keep the city okay. Shindike, that was his father, he reigned and died in the 1980s. So now this is... Akapale, uh, mm. meaning you are a squirrel. When a squirrel goes, a squirrel will not return to be killed. It would rather kill itself. That is the truth. You wake up and come in the night. So much pride. Yes, that is yeah. That is how he cites himself. So now every chief you are supposed to give yourself irumbo. Who are you? So Mwata is a couple of Mini is a squirrel who does not get defeated. Yeah. So whatever he starts, he make sure he conquers. No, he can he cannot you cannot defeat him. So he says uh, there's something where they say he cannot be defeated because he cannot succumb to defeat. Roughly, you know, count more than ten. Yes. Here. Yeah. All given. Each, each and every one. They have given a praise. Different from. Different from each other. Yeah. Now, this is how culture is. Um, what you, we are seeing value in the culture because they are trying to portray who are these, who are the Lundas, who are the Matas. So it signifies who we are as Lunda people, Matakaze. Yeah. And so what we have seen here is that um, <coughs> the people have appreciated this culture very much, and they still appreciate this culture. Yeah. And uh, one thing you. Uh, I didn't get your name. One thing you need to learn in uh, time past, we were only had four royal blood, meaning they came as chiefs already. Now, this time around, we're having a lot of chiefs who don't even have royal blood, so they are learning certain things on picking. As we don't pick, we've come with who we are and we are celebrating what we have. So, this is showing you that. These things run in our blood. 
quick. Just so you are still watching uh, the live proceedings of uh, the Mutomboko ceremony live uh, from uh, Mansa Mumba district in Luapula province. We have been giving uh, praises uh, to uh, the Mwata Kazembe. And uh, these uh, people coming from uh, the eastern part of Zambia and of course, uh, you know, inculcating also the culture, also showcasing the culture that it, you know, takes place uh, in the eastern province. That's why I appreciate that also here they are welcome obviously to just uh, collaborate and uh, work together with uh, the people of uh, this area. As you might be aware that, uh, you know, Mwataka Zembe really appreciates, you know, uh, the cultures of others. And of course, this is why he also, you know, shows, uh, you know, what is happening here. And I will tell you that, uh, you know, the theme for this uh, year's uh, Mutomboko ceremony is uh, integrating communities with development opportunities, linking communities to markets, financing and value chain addition. Let's just uh, take a listen and watch uh, what uh, the people from uh, Eastern Province have to give us. <laughs> the dances uh, from other uh, people of uh, Eastern Province just uh, to showcase us and appreciate uh, the other couch on the other side of the country and uh, definitely that is something that uh, you know they have to uh, we are talking also the dances here so that is a spectacular you know uh, side that you see here and uh, that is what you get here from uh, Mutomboko and so they're just moving out of the stage of course appreciating and also giving us, uh, you know, the culture. I have seen, you know, the theme for this year, uh, you know, um, integrating communities with development opportunities, linking communities to markets, financing, and value addition. This is a modern world, and appreciating, uh, you know, other people's, you know, uh, you know, culture, and also appreciating the cohesion that should happen between communities. Our, our theme. Yes. We are looking at communities. How do we uh, make sure they are tapping into the developmental opportunities and marketing themselves to financing and value chain uh, addition? We want to align whatever happens here to what is going on in towns. That is how you find, like Masabombe. Masabombe has a world uh, uh, water ret reticulation which no one understands. This is a village, yeah. but it's got a pipeline going to leading to each and every household. And what they are now encouraging, how do they integrate their 
they, 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 they are what skills into marketing those and how do they get financed so we want to be tapping into the government and ensure that as a, 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 a village we are also benefiting from this and one thing i think i've seen is that uh, you are moving with the world yes but you're not forgetting the culture and you're still practicing yes the values and also the culture that uh, you know you have been practicing so many years yes so this is uh, you know we are tapping in by uh, not just leaving out what the government is doing we want also the community to benefit and come up with something which at least in as much as they are in their lower end they are able to um, they are able to get something out of it yeah yeah great and of course now we will be hearing uh, a speech from uh, the zambeza seat uh, to talk to us about uh, you know uh, how they also appreciate uh, the culture and also mutomboko they are happy to associate themselves you know with uh, this uh, particular event and of course uh, appreciating the culture of the lunda people in our province and so uh, just now let's uh, just uh, you know uh, get to listen to what uh, the best seat will be talking about Hello? Yes, Sonic, thank you so much. The guest of honor, a comrade uh, Garin Combo, Minister. Mm -hmm. I thank you, sir. His Royal Highness, the Mwata, who has brought us. here the visiting chiefs a special recognition goes to chief Mazimawe from eastern province representing the paramount chief Mpezeni I would also like to pay a special recognition to the copper belt minister honorable Elisha Matambo Minister, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Evans Kazonga Ngoma. Zambezi Seed would like to thank the Mutomboko Organizing Committee for giving us this opportunity to partner with yourselves in successfully hosting the Mutomboko ceremony here in uh, Kazembe, Mansawombe, Luapula province. You will realize that um, as a seed company, we hold traditional ceremonies in high esteem. Like it is always said that a country without culture is as good as a dead one and so from time to time we will continue to support traditional ceremonies where possible most of you will realize that as seed companies we are putting in great efforts through our agronomists to ensure to ensure that you, the people whom we call farmers, should plant certified seeds in order to have a food secure Zambia. And so, taking advantage of this platform given to me, I would like to thank all the farmers in Luapula province, all the farmers in Zambia, for supporting an indigenous variety, a variety that was bred by our own at Mount Makuru Research Station, now being uh, distributed by Zambezi Seed. This variety 
gives you freedom not to be thinking about buying seed every other year. Once you plant some basic seed, ZM521, you graduate from buying seeds over and over because this seed, you can replant it for the first year, second year, third, fourth, without losing any vigor. And so Zambezi seed gives you farmers freedom to begin to manage your own seeds. Uh, the guests of honor, let me not bore the audience so much with this. Otherwise, I would like to thank one more time the Mwata and my own chief, Mazimawe, from the Eastern Province for being here today. With these few remarks, I would like to say, don't forget to plant Zambezi seed. And also, overally, let us from now onwards be buying local. This is Evans Kazongangoma. I thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Before we proceed, we are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are Yes, Uto uto fumine kuli ba jimbara amiri abona bena ba ripamunga ba sponsor abona tu tepele shakoktila uto tu 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 bungo tu nga chakwa tu mafuiro wadi kuli abunga ba kubika mo ati kubika mo kio mono nani shono bunga na uta mpo kukosa kero na wasolo mo luto shi ati chaluto beka iyo kasi e wadi kuwa kumuti na chapa kila mo ya lo na nywa chinda na mo ya tuaro ba kumatere to ya kuti mo ya seba na kama iso kula ya niwa jimbara. Uh, you know, you know, shows uh, you know, how uh, people would also want to associate with uh, the production of the country, and uh, you know, you know, talk about the seed itself. Uh, you know, giving people uh, also an opportunity to be productive. But uh, just now, let's just uh, listen to another sp uh, speech. His Royal Highness, Senior Chief Mwata Kazembe. Our guest of honor, Senior Chief Mazimawe, Cabinet Ministers present, Permanent Secretaries and Senior Government Officials, Traditional Lizards and Representatives, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. It is with great honor that I stand before you on this occasion rooted in the rich cultural heritage of the Lunda-speaking people of Luapula a testament to the strength, unity, and vibrant traditions that continue to thrive in our beloved Zambia. Today, I beg your pardon, uh, I do recognize uh, Mwata Kazembe. Today we not only honor the history and customs of the Lunda people, but recognize the enduring spirit of community and progress that defines us as a nation. The Mutomboko ceremony is more than a cultural festivity. It is a symbol of resilience, continuity, and an example of the profound respect we have for our heritage. This year's theme, integrating communities with development and opportunities, linking communities to markets, financing, and value chain addition resonates deeply with Access Bank Zambia. We believe that culture and preservation goes hand in hand with economic growth, and it's through such celebrations that we draw inspiration to build 
a future that honors the past while embracing the possibilities of tomorrow. We say we are here for you at Access Bank because we mean we are committed to fostering growth and development for the communities we serve by supporting initiatives that drive social and economic development. Distinguished guests, I wish to affirm our continued commitment following the combination of Access Bank and Atlas Mara to support various initiatives that benefit and uplift the communities we operate in. In line with this commitment, we have embarked on various initiatives aimed at improving access to financial services and providing financial literacy and empowering women and SMEs. By linking communities to markets and value chain addition, we are creating pathways to economic opportunities that, that will drive our nation's prosperity. In closing, I would like to extend my, heart, my heartfelt gratitude to Mwata Kazembe for his unwavering leadership and dedication to preserving the cultural heritage of the Lunda people. To the organizers of this event, thank you for your efforts in ensuring Mutomboko ceremony continues to be a beacon of cultural pride and national unity. Ladies and, and uh, they all know that uh, such events are a symbol of our resilience. And yeah. culture, you know, culture preservation, they, he said, goes hand in hand with yeah. uh, development. Yes, and you see the banks where we are always put our monies, they are able to keep our money and also give us loans to make sure that what banks. And now uh, Access Bank, is. I, I think they've opened a branch in Mansa. They are trying to open another branch, maybe in uh, Kawamba and Mansabombe. There was uh, an appeal by Mata that, uh, you know, this place, we have... Uh, 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 schools, we have a hospital, we have a big hospital we, which is yet to be commissioned, and we have a radio station which, has, uh, which is already on. Right. That's my support by radio. And uh, we have the district which has come up. So this is time to now integrate it into a well organized uh, district as Masabombe. Yeah. Okay, so development obviously go, you know, goes hand in hand, and uh, the Access Bank is telling us that they are committed to growth and development activities that are point to that, mm. and that is uh, what actually brings them together, especially as far as uh, the preservation of our culture is uh, concerned. Concerned, yeah. Now, we are also looking at uh, you know Mwata Kazembe, who is uh, listening attentively, and mm. uh, he's one man who loves development in his chief. So very, and he's one man who's among the chiefs, you see, he's very smart. He always wants the best for his people, and he always pushes. He wants the best. He puts his own effort. Like I was telling you, the water reticulation which has uh, been put near this palace, that was his idea. And the hospital which is behind us, it's a, there's a, it's a state of art. It has MRI, it has a CT scan. It has it's everything. level one hospital. Level one hospital. Yeah. Now look at, there's no uh, village which with uh, such uh, infrastructure. We are sitting here where there is a, 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 a what? somewhere people can go and uh, look yeah. at the historical mm -hmm. thing just a museum there mm -hmm. so it's it's it, it, we are coming up with a lot of things people can feel at home when they are here in Masabombe mm -hmm. yeah all right so so many activities so much initiatives that are uh, you know brought uh, here in mm -hmm. uh, this uh, chief mm -hmm. and uh, now, just now you are seeing uh, people from uh, the Congo yes the just trying to Congo. you know showcase their skills to give us what really they have brought us here mm -hmm. in uh, you know chief uh, Mata Kazembe era. and we know that uh, you know Mata Kazembe actually you know crossed uh, came from uh, you know uh, passed through Congo and uh, this is actually it's not just passing yeah. <laughs> his land his yeah. land extends into Congo exactly, exactly. so you, you he is he can he installs chiefs in Congo mm -hmm. so it's not just extending our land goes in as far as uh, in Katanga reaching right. somewhere in Lubumbashi yeah there are two Mwatakazembe there is Mwatakazembe in Kolwezi mm -hmm. there's Mwatakazembe here he's and Mwatakazembe who I think he, le, he died in, in Malawi okay so this is why I would say this is the Lunda region great yeah mm -hmm. um. okay so let's just uh, you know check on uh, you know what uh, you know, the people from Agogo will have to give us. And of course, paying homage to Mwata Kazembe there.
Ngoe me tilo mbelo mchele. No yumu nesu ule shunsha. Eh, hey, umu tali uyu. Ale shunsha bueno bueno. Mwane ukuringa na na makambisho nde pero. And so those are the dances uh, from uh, our colleagues uh, from uh, Congo, where Mwata has roots there and has actually, you know, um, uh, representatives there of uh, the Lunda people. There is a Mtomboko committee in Congo, and this is a Bengali band. These are sanctioned by Mwati Yav. So they were supposed to come with him. Now, when he did not come, they, are, they, are, they have come alone to just give the support with Mati. Great. And yeah. this also obviously shows how you know, much I, you know, yes. they appreciate this country. Yeah, very much. how much support yeah. also gets. So it's yearly, yearly in, yearly out, you find them coming here. Yeah. And also this makes you happy as the people very, here. Very, people. very happy. Great. Yeah. All right. And of course, uh, just now, we are um, about to, uh, to get on to another speech. Uh, obviously, uh, where we are going to listen to uh, the, also the importance of uh, this uh, particular uh, event right here. And so we can see that before they go to actually, you know, uh, talk, they actually ha have to pay, you know, in yeah, respect yeah, they, to yeah, uh, before you, you need Let's to talk permitted. to us about uh, this man who is about to give us, you know, the speech very, very quickly. Yeah, so the, you, can, you can only... Uh, you need to get permission before you present whatever Mata has given you to say. So that's where you saw them now. Yes, yeah. Honorable Garden Combo, Minister of Local Government and Rural Development, representative of the government of the Republic of Zambia, representative of the guest of honor, Emperor Minimagandi Mwatiangwa Mshidi, number three, of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Your Excellency Ambassadors, High Commissioners, and members of the Diplomatic Corps accredited to Zambia, all sponsors and partners of the Vumtomboko Ceremony, Honorable Ministers present, Honorable Members of Parliament present, Permanent Secretaries present, Chief Executive Officers, Managing Directors, and the heads of corporations and institutions, representatives of companies and institutions, senior leadership in the public service, council chairpersons present, town clerks and council secretaries present, distinguished guests, the fourth estate, the media fraternity, ladies and gentlemen. But may I simply say, all protocols observed. May I begin by extending my utmost welcome to you all to this 2024 Umutomboko ceremony, inspired with the theme of integrating communities with development opportunities, linking co communities to markets, financing, and value chain addition. More so, our intention this year is to gain strength to strengthen our connections with roots in Kola by having our Emperor Mwati Yango grace our ceremony. It is unfortunate that due to circumstances beyond his control, he could not be with us today. However, we remain indebted to our Emperor and continue to reveal our heritage and roots.
Haumogum Tomboko ceremony, being Mansa Wombu, has grown exponentially, exponentially and holds a population now of 72,000 residents. In this essence, treated equally, the malice must just for our country. The abuse of our people in Wapua province and beyond should come to an end. Now learn to listen and stop the hypocrisy. It has been very progressive and degenerative, degenerative of a country that has been independent from colonialists for 60 years to continue on this trajectory. As my personal contribution and the Lunda people of, Mata, of Matakazembe, we will hold our traditional and time memorial tested governance that keeps our doors open to everybody. Ichipango Chakwa Mwata will continue to be open to anybody, whether ruling party or opposition. If you pull up, our Mano, if you lemma, Ponce will be welcome in Matas, Matas Ichipango. If we, as a Vena Lunda, we have got one right, that when I want to see Mwata, I will see Mwata. And what I say is opening the doors to every Zambian to come and, you know, converse with him. Without much ado, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank our sponsors and partners of this year's Umtomboko ceremonies. Our sponsors are as follows. Zambian, Zambezi Seed Men Sponsor, Access Bank God Sponsor, Tweed Kings and Hayden University Silver Sponsors. Our partners as follows. Mwabamwila Adventures, Profite, Kasang Spa Bangwe, Zambia Tourism Agency, Elan Development Investments Limited, other sponsors are Five FM Radio, Afriseed, Aquakena Water, Belsam Driving School, The Tools, Bonanza Golf Course, Cheetah Lodges, Sierra Resort and Spa, Coteva, Aden University, Energy Regulation Board, Health Professions Council of Zambia, Heineken Beverages Zambia, Indo Zambia Bank. Italian School, International School of Lusaka, Lunsenfa Hydro Power Station, Lusaka Music Radio, Matson Insurance, Melcom, Mupumai Management Solutions, Natsev, Farragate Zamgard, Famanova, Road Transport and Safety Agency, RATSA. Wakeman's Compensation Fund Control Board, Zafico, Zambif, Zambia Air Force, Zambia Army, Zambia Telemail, Zambia National Service, Zambia Airports Corporation, Zambia Sugar, Zambia Industrial Commercial Bank, Zambia National Building Society, Zambian Breweries, Zanaco, Zesco, and various individuals too, near must to mention, I can only express my sincere gratitude to all the organizations and individuals that have demonstrated confidence supporting this noble cause of preserving our Lunda culture and heritage. I thank you. Thank 
Kazembe. That was a speech As, for Mata Kazembe. And of course, I read by Mazimawi now to give us his message for Paramount Chief Mupeseni. Uh, available today, all government uh, officials available today, invited chiefs, ladies and gentlemen. I stand here before the Mpezeni. With me today is Gogo Mazimari, who is our delegation leader, but I've been called upon here as a spokesperson in the mode of uh, maybe honorable Mitwa, as you said. Your Royal Highness, your brother, the Nguenyama, is thanking you for the friendship that you have given him over a long period of time. He says you have been a constant presence at the Ntwala ceremony where our people have received you with enthusiasm. In fact, you enter the arena there to the sound of your ancient Mazoloda, which the Ngonis love. Your action, your Royal Highness of Friendship, has managed to unite the people of Luapula and those of Eastern Province. Um, I've, I'm reminded, you know, protocol uh, is King Muata, uh, uh, not uh, senior chief. I think uh, this, this is to emphasize the importance of respecting chiefs. The name chief was given to us by our colonial masters as a means of demeaning us because they are the kings themselves. So when they came upon us, they thought of giving us a name which is similar. Now you have a chief constable, you have a chief manager somewhere. So we cannot be associated with such kind of title. That's why I've been reminded to say it. However, let me continue with the message from Inkosi Yamankosi. The Nguenyama also is hopeful that this unity that you have created between the people of Rapula and Eastern Province will be used to ensure 
that we continue supporting successive governments of Zambia to enable them perform their duties successfully for the benefit of our people. Inkosi Yamankosi also is thanking you for upholding the cultural values of Zambia through this famous, famous ceremonial, uh, ceremony called Umtomboko, which depicts the true spirit of Umuntu. Ngwenyama also wishes to draw your attention to the drought that has uh, ravaged this country, leading to the major maize growing areas of eastern and southern province not producing enough maize. He is therefore calling upon you, your royal highness, to ensure that uh, the people of Ruapura take up the duty of growing maize big time, taking advantage of the abundance of rain. <laughs> the Nguenyama also wishes to thank the government of Zambia, led by President Hika Inde Ichilema, for the consented efforts it has shown supporting cultural activities in Zambia like this one and endeavoring to raise the standard of living of the people of Zambia. We urge them to do even more. Inkosi Yamankosi wishes you, Your Royal Highness, every success as you hold this wonderful ceremony of Umtomboko. And he says, if you need a shoulder to cry on, count on his shoulder. Thank you very much. That is His Royal Highness, uh, Chief Nukwa from uh, Eastern Province. Chief of Eastern Province, and of course we had very clear message there. It's about uh, the message of uh, friendship, and this is how far, you know, yes. Yes. And uh, how important is this? You know, in very terms important. Of and you see, there's something which has been emphasized that, uh, you know, these titles which we give our, our kings, they were not, uh, they, they, they have not been uh, chiefs, they were kings. Because I, I told you earlier, they ran into royal blood, meaning they were there. Even though when the whites were, they found them. And that is how even the history has been written. When, they, when, when, when the whites were coming, they were looking where is the king so that we get what are we supposed to get in the land. So when they reached this land, they were able to get something. There are certain places where they would not go because there were no kings. Yeah. So there are very specific places where they recognized certain uh, kingship. Yeah. And also in that speech we saw, you know, linking your theme, you know, economic growth, mm. that I know Lua Pro Province had that uh, fair share of uh, rainfall, good, you know, uh, you know, rainfall as compared to eastern and southern uh, provinces of this country. That, and that's of course, a good appeal uh, Mataka, again. you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, Paramount Chief uh, Pezen mm -hmm. is obviously requesting Mwataka Zembe that uh, let the people continue, you know, growing maize, maize yeah. so that, uh, you know, we, we don't have hunger there. Yes, country. like you see, uh, the land is uh, endowed with a lot of water uh, bodies. We have Lake Mweru, we have Luapula River, and we also have these uh, falls which are always running the Bangaluru there. <laughs> so why shouldn't we go into agriculture so that we start feeding uh, Zambia? And no, not only Zambia, we can feed, we can feed Africa. Yeah, it's all concerted effort and also just integrating into the same. Mm -hmm. Now in doing that, we need people like the people who are doing seed. We need people who are Talk about the efforts, you, yeah. know, you know, made so far by, you know, Mwataka Zembe to ensure that people of this area can be productive in that, uh, you know, sector. Talk about agriculture. Agriculture, you know, he's been telling most of his uh, people not just to depend on water like fishing can we go back to the land and uh, at least uh, put something in the soil which we can in a short time uh, harvest and this harvest will not make us go hungry and not only us we'll be able to feed a community we'll be able to feed a province we'll be able to feed the, the, the country now if you look at the way the rain pattern was yeah. here the rain ended somewhere in june so if we took we take advantage of that we find that we will be having food through and through great yeah okay and so uh, that was a speech delivered there and of course coming straight from uh, paramount uh, chief uh, Pezzani.
And uh, just now, just now, obviously, uh, we are witnessing, um, uh, you know, the people that, come, that are coming on the arena and obviously just recognizing the MPs that have come here. But I'll tell you that uh, some of the chiefs that have uh, come here, uh, we have uh, Chief Matzimawe of Eastern Province, His Royal Highness Sayilunga Ikunga of Winilunga. We have uh, His Royal Highness Ishima of Zambezi district northwestern province we also have uh, his royal highness Munukwa, who has just given a speech on behalf of uh, paramount chief uh, pertaining kosi yaman kosi we also have uh, you know his uh, royal highness mivenge of uh, mansa district as well as uh, you know his uh, royal highness kalafua of uh, lukanga baina mansa yes and uh, also these uh, chiefs that have come here uh, show the solidarity to mataka zembe and how important it is to obviously work together yeah. and also offer support in they, such events. There is a, there's a lot of importance in uh, uh, combining. We've uh, always been told we are Lundas, and now the Lundas of Lopla province and the Lundas of Northwestern, at some point you find that there is a bit of uh, no communication. So our brothers this time are saying, no, 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 can we go and support our brother? We are coming from one father who is the emperor, Mat Matiang. Yeah. yeah, and also we can also now see the presentation of our gifts there, yeah. uh, uh, you know, led by uh, Honorable Garin Kombo and also, uh, you know, Transport and Logistics yeah. Minister Frank Tayali. Uh -huh. And uh, we have also seen, uh, you know, a Copa Belt Minister there, uh, Mr. Elisha Matambo and, uh, uh, you know, uh, Honorable Brenda Tambatamba, mm. the Minister of, uh, you know, you know, um, social securities uh, are also here, and also the minister for, you know, this particular province, and uh, also some MPs that have just come here to repre to present gifts to uh, Mwata Kazembe, yeah. and uh, just uh, to appreciate and also give respect to, you know, Mwata Kazembe himself. And of course, uh, Mwata Kazembe, uh, you know, just appreciating, uh, you know, uh, those are gifts that are coming from uh, uh, the government uh, point of view and are also giving a uh, respect uh, to Mwataka Zembe and uh, I can see you know also Honorable uh, Mufaladi there who is also a member of parliament uh, you know uh, just uh, you know also registering his presence at this particular event I'm also aware of uh, the attendance here really very very impressive yeah a it's lot of people part, because mm. people always want to there have uh, been so many activities here yeah, for the past yeah, two yes, three days yes. yes so people want to at least come to the grand finale and see the um tomboko yeah so you will see the alulation which will be coming when when water just rises to do them right yeah yeah and there's so many partners and uh, that are showing you know you know just support to Mwataka Zembe. Yeah. How significant is this in terms of our support coming from people around, people that you work with in the communities? Yeah, that, that's, uh, th that's a very good uh, support. And uh, as you may be aware, it uh, shows that uh, people are united. Yeah. So uh, we shouldn't relent. Let's unite. Great. And so... There you have it, and uh, it is, uh, you know, the event, the climax of the event, and also the people that have come here, uh, obviously just, uh, you know, enjoying the cultural values of uh, this uh, particular, you know, event. And uh, in the Zambian context, obviously, we are talking about uh, such events, uh, culture, and traditional ceremonies. They hold uh, significant uh, importance for several you know, reasons. We're talking about the uh, preservation of our heritage, and uh, such as the uh, Mutomboko ceremony, help to preserve and uh, also transmit the rich cultural heritage of Zambia. They do provide the means to pass down customs. You know, they also uh, pass down our beliefs and uh, values for the one generation to the next, maintaining a sense of identity uh -huh. and also uh, continuity. And uh, co talk about our community and also social cohesion uh, you know these are ceremonies that are you know foster a sense of community and belonging and you can see from the time that we came here people just appreciating and they feel they belong to such uh, events and also so they also bring uh, people together reinforcing social bonds and communal ties this is especially important in a diverse uh, country like Zambia as we will say one Zambia one nation where traditional ceremonies serve as a unifying factor among different ethnic 
Africa groups. Yeah. We have also heard from other uh, speeches, you know, especially from uh, Amata Kazembe, that uh, you know uh, they appreciate the education initiatives that are you know fostered by government, and uh, such a ceremony like this one is so educational and offering an opportunity for young generation to learn about their history, language, and also customs. And uh, this learning helps uh, in nurturing respect for elders and an understanding of one's uh, roots. And we can also see uh, that uh, there are so much uh, uh, you know, artistic expression through music, dance, storytelling, and also craft, like we have learned here from Mr. Muma, who is telling us how you know, the siege for Mwata Kazembe is a myth, and uh, this expression is also vital for the culture of vibrance and uh, creative, you know, uh, creative spirit of uh, the community. And, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, uh, appreciating their sisters, we saw in the morning that, uh, you know, women were carrying baskets and persons of food, cassava, and so much. And we're talking about the spiritual and moral significance, you know, and uh, Mutomboko ceremony is one of those that have a spiritual elements connecting people with their ancestors and also uh, spiritual beliefs. They often play, you know, this is uh, something... Uh, that uh, we can see that uh, it plays a, a pivotal role in uh, the right of passage and so many moral values. That is, you know, talking about instilling moral values. We can tell you that uh, also tourism is, uh, you know, um, promoted here and uh, such bring economic impact. And uh, Mutomboko ceremony is one of uh, those ceremonies that bring uh, tourists boosting the local economy because businesses also thrive in such a moment. We have seen so many people that have come here to do business because uh, the people that have come here obviously need uh, you know, goods and services and uh, this is uh, something that has provided an opportunity uh, for cultural exchange. So people from uh, Eastern Province there showcasing their skills, showcasing all those dances and we are talking about uh, you know, understanding and showcasing the unique aspects of Zambian culture to the world. And uh, we can also talk about uh, the leadership itself here. And uh, in Zambia, we have uh, seen so many uh, ceremonies that also try to actually bring people together and promote, uh, uh, you know, our culture as well as, you know, uh, you know, the values. And so that is what we get from here and, uh, you know, the chiefs also have come here, yeah, uh, yeah offering support and so also help. Yeah, this is yeah. A, these are chiefs from Northwestern, Northwestern Province, Sailunga and yeah. uh, Ishima. They also brought something to present to their brother yes. as they are celebrating. It's Chumbo brother Chumbo. love. They are, they yeah, are yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the attire, this attire which uh, Northwestern has have, it's the same attire we also yeah. have. Yeah. The head gear, yeah. And so we have uh, seen that uh, a number of people here have come to appreciate, you know, Mata Kazembe. And of course, those dances that we are seeing, the dance of conquest, yeah. you know, celebrating the culture, uh -huh. the rich history that, uh, you know, Lunda people have, you know, Lunda people of Alwafla province have, and yeah. are going beyond, obviously, yeah. and uh, putting all those uh, roots uh, that, uh, you know, we have seen. And uh, these are the wise men from the East, East. that we are seeing. I think uh, they, are running, they, might, they should be uh, running late. Yeah. Uh, they, they might be running to get on board on their choppers. Yeah. Great. And uh, Mutomboko ceremony, uh, traditional ceremony, is uh, actually one of uh, the events uh, which promotes uh, the significance, uh, you know, of uh, the significance of our culture, uh -huh. and uh, of course, we're talking about uh, of uh, the Lunda people uh, of uh, lower properties. And of course, it yeah. has, uh, when we talk about, uh, you know, such of some of uh, the aspects that can promote uh, economic development, we're talking about uh, lower property River, and also the good climatic change that we have seen over the years very much as you see the Pla river doesn't dry so this is an opportunity to start uh, fish farming so this is fish farming again we are looking at the, the Luapla river which can feed zambia which can feed africa so these are some of the things we are emphasizing to government to bring on board if people are brought with this idea of uh, uh, fish farming you find that we'll have constant food yeah, I understand that, uh, you know, this is also an event that uh, 
you know, um, helps in preserving and celebrating cultural, yes, you know, yes. heritage. Cultural heritage. How does this happen in the modern days where we have so many, you know, exposure, you know, from uh, you know, internet, you know, children no longer, you know, appreciate the value, but how do you make sure that uh, these values are you know, instilled instilling in the young values, generation? Instilling values in a uh, young generation depends on the household. You as a parent need to identify to your children that you belong to this uh, society, you belong to this culture, endow them with uh, what is required of a culture. That is when you preserve the values, that is now how you, uh, you, you go to the heritage that will be making the country to be who we are as Zambians. So values of uh, cultural what is very important. Yeah. And also, you know, in terms of leadership, Mata was, uh, you know, meets with uh, you know, other chiefs, uh -huh. meets with uh, headmen. Yes. And uh, how does also this go down in terms of uh, instilling leadership in the other, you know, areas? He always emphasized that there's discipline. You need to install that uh, order. You need to also to uh, have value. So that will uh, ensure that. So practice something. That is why, uh, like I was telling you earlier, this village is using its own means to come up with water reticulation. It's also going on out of its way to solve for money to build its uh, hospital. So these are some of the things which you are seeing around. Yeah. Great. And uh, such dances, obviously, let's just uh, uh, take a look because uh, one of uh, the most important thing here is uh, the victory dance. Yeah. And uh, now let's just uh, take a look at uh, the dances uh -huh. that uh, have come along with uh, our friends from, uh, from the Democratic Republic yeah. of Congo. These are coming from Lubumbashi and they're trying to show us that uh, they have also the skill which they can show us as Zambians. Great. Imagine they are coming from Lubumbashi, yeah. but they are just made it with Matiyam. Great. Uh, Let's enjoy. Yeah, thank you. And so we have just witnessed uh, the dance uh, coming from uh, our friends from Lubumbashi that we really appreciate also uh, the uh, culture of uh, this uh, particular region, this uh, particular area. And, uh, you know, we are talking about, uh, you know, how, you know, uh, leadership is also 
uh, you know, uh, instilled to the young generation yes, uh, and also how important it is it to is, keep the people yeah. together. So, so you know. like uh, for the royal, uh, for the royal children, they are trained to be uh, as leaders as early as possible. So they they go through all processes of living. They are able to endure everything, so that when they are in leadership, they are able to uh, lead the people in harmony and uh, in uh, dignity. Now here comes the drums, yeah. you know, for the Lunda people over this particular, this particular area. area yes. yeah. Let's look at uh, the dancers yeah. that are also uh, will be displayed here. Of course, first thing is to pay respect, respect to, to Mata Kazembe. He has to permit them yes. for them to go and do the dance. Yeah. And there you have it now. They can go and enjoy. They've been allowed to go and enjoy and dance and give us uh, you know, a variety of the dances that we are about to witness here. Mm -hmm. So let's enjoy the dances. Yeah.
that is a uh, dance there, Chiru Mualuma, and uh, it simply means uh, the beat. And now I, I could see there Princess uh, Kaniembo, we, who has a red hairband there, also learning how to dance. And she does that so well. Yes, yeah, at a very young age. At the tender age. Mm -hmm. This is why the process of training starts at the tender age. Great. Because you are producing kings, pre uh, queens. So they need to know what is their culture, what is expected of them. Okay, so it's so that at a tender age. Yeah, and so we are seeing the dancers uh, in stages, and uh, the youngest there was a princess, Kaniembo, uh, who had the red hair yeah. band there. And, uh, this is now Ichinkwaza. Yeah, yeah. Ichinkwaza. Yeah. Okay, what does that mean? Ichinkwaza, it's, a, it's also a beat, uh, okay. a dance which is uh, performed by the royal dancers. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I can also see that. Uh, the dramas are the same, but they, they are, just they, transition. Yeah. They are transitioning yeah. because the beat goes as you are dancing. Yeah. Right. Okay, so let's also enjoy this. One is, uh, that this one was uh, a bit dance. slow. This one is going a bit fast. This is a bit fast, yeah?
Mm -hmm. and this one was a bit of fast dance. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously also talk about the beats here. Yeah. So now we are moving into Amalepeka. This is another uh, uh, style of dance. Great. Yeah. So you'll you be seeing how they will, they will be performing. And uh, this is a significant dance as well. Obviously, mm -hmm. just uh, signifies. Uh, one of the you know, uh, yes. values of this culture that you know uh, so this is the people yeah, of, uh, this is know. only dance to permissions with matter in his presence yeah. when he allows his royal beats to move so it cannot be played anywhere unless there is that uh, 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 th that authority from Mwata. so when you are given such a um, it shows that Mwata is really in you and uh, this is a, a different group yeah, it's a different group. We have someone from the royal family here. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one do we have here? What is the name? Mostly there's a Kanyambos and just uh, the royal dancers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is coming from uh, people who do specific functions in the, in the deity. Of the Lunda Kingdom, yeah. And this one is, uh, you know, you dance relaxed. Yes. So how many dances are displayed here? Normally it's three. Three. So you it's have the princess one. there. That's the daughter to Mata Kazembe. Okay. So that's the princess there, Kanyembo. Kanyembo.
also those dances obviously obviously are still going on there and uh, uh, you know area one we also saw chief tennis uh, Lukwesa. she is the older sister of muata kazembe yes. so and enjoying the dances as well she is also enjoying the dances yeah you are able to see that she's able to dance because she was also groomed in the same yeah yeah so one people, yeah, and uh, that is uh, her so royal highness, royal highness uh, to come and uh, dance to the dance of conquest, which is Umtomboko. Great. And also, there was a uh, presence uh, now, look at as the, well. now listen to the drums. Yeah. Let's Seeing uh, the uh, students in Uquesa, and uh, she has uh, something in her. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. So what does it signify? You know, we know, we know meaning. Uh, you see the uh, where the houses are. Yeah, they, when they are putting uh, we know. Yes. The the, the the coupling. Yeah.
And uh, first of all, it's about giving respect to our father, and she comes here to showcase her skills in terms of her dances. So now you see, our children have uh, that traditional in them, but also they are integrating in doing what society is offering. Yeah. So we don't have uh, just uh, people who are like backwards. You find that they also are learning. Yeah. So they are now integrating into society, but they are keeping the value of tradition. Great. Mm. And so let's just enjoy the dances that uh, you know being displayed here by Princess Chinyan. <laughs> So that is um, uh, Princess uh, Chinyanta there, obviously showcasing her skills in terms of her dancing. But uh, just now, Prince Po is uh, coming on stage to also give us uh, that spectacular dance uh, that uh, he has been practicing, obviously, for over many a years. Of, yeah, many years. <laughs> many years. Really. Yeah, when he was young, yeah. We've, so he's been we've doing seen this. him grow when yeah, he go. was young. And he enjoys this, obviously. Very much. Thank <laughs> you. 
I saw those are uh, the princes, yes, and uh, Prince Apo there showcasing uh, his uh, skills in terms of dancing. There was also the elder brother who joined in. Yeah, that is Kadiembo also who came on board just to give him support. Now here you are going to see His Majesty to stand and uh, perform the Om Tomboko. Yes, and uh, definitely uh, Mwata now smiling, yes. so happy, obviously uh -huh. seeing the sons, you know, dancing. Yeah, so when the, the sound of that, come he's now sure is that he can what now What does that mean? He, he, needs, he has now been allowed to stand. So Mwata Kazembe... Now he's showing you that I'm the king here yes. on the left, I'm the king on the right, I'm the king. So a gunshot has yeah. just gone off. And uh, Mata Kazembe has stood up, is walking to the stage yes. majestically. Yes, there he Powered comes. on, you can see the courage <laughs> and this, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the climax <laughs> of Um Tomboko Solomon. And you can see the courage. There you have it. Yes. There is someone from yes. behind uh, touching the rope there. Yes. That one is not supposed to come in front, otherwise he'll be hit. So he's, uh, <laughs> Who he's, hit him? He's, he's got uh, Imbafu and Impoko, which okay. he carries. Okay. So he's always supposed to be in behind. Great. Now these things will be presented to him. And so, so again, these things run into families. Yes. If you cannot just uh, go and be... So a person who's giving uh, those items is supposed to come from a specific family. Okay. Yeah. Not anyone else. No. You can see the dance. dance look at that, France. look at that. That's a dance of conquest, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, 
there, you know, we Mata Kazembe, you know, are pointing north, east, uh, south, and west. Then what does picks, that mean? Yeah, that we, when he now uh, pointed to the earth and picks the soil, he says, I'm the, also the, the, the owner of the soil. It's yes. only God who I fear, not right. anyone. Another gunshot yes. there, and so Mata yeah, now, has Mata gone back has to, to leave his, uh, the hammock, Umuselo, now leaving the place. Yeah. Now, there was, there's one thing you need to understand. Yes. Water can only come in this place using Umsolo, and you can only leave this place using Umsolo. Yes. There's nothing like going by road, by, by bus or by car, no. So it must be lifted. Yeah. 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 And so that is a matter of the day of the city marking the significance of uh, this particular event. Yes. And of course, we're talking about the Mutomboko ceremony. And uh, most of uh, you know the activities that we have seen here yeah. is mm. the appreciation of the culture, culture it's yeah. appreciation of uh, the authority and yes, yeah. the, the love that uh, you know, he has for the people. Yeah. And the people for him. For him, yes. And uh, he's always emphasized on unity and unity of purpose. So here we don't practice politics. Here it is unity of purpose. We are one Zambia. We are one nation. Great, and we can see there also the pri uh, the prince. Yeah. Now the hammock is being carried on the hammock. Now before he leaves, he has to talk to his uh, drum, okay. which is Umondo. So he's uh, giving, uh, uh, he's talking to the drums. He will mention who he is, what is his name. Then he will be lifted up to now start Great. to be taken to. Uh, and so he's drumming as we are talking about. Yes. Now. You can see the drum there, and obviously, so much security around him. Around him, him yeah. Nobody <laughs> can go near yeah, him. Yeah, it's always there to protect him. Yes. Those are his uh, soldiers now. Yeah. Great. Mm. And so you can see the excitement from the people, obviously, and uh, you can yeah. see the reason there why. There is too much excitement because yes. it, it, they have to take him back into the palace. Yeah, you can see the see, reason why. Yeah. Uh, you know, so before, so yeah, this is what he's doing him. now. Before he leaves, yes, he has to talk, uh, mention his name, mention his ancestors. Then that's when he gets uh, to leave the place. Yeah. The place. Okay, so now we're just witnessing Mwataka Zembe there drumming. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a message there that we are getting. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, the message obviously is uh, also interpreted by the drummers themselves. Yeah. And uh, if you're closer, you're able to uh, just that our to mics, hear yeah, what, what, what he's he yeah, talking say, about. Yeah. Yeah. As he's talking, now he's using not the mouth, he's using the drum. The drums. Yeah. So those are the signs. And he's been lifted there, yeah. and uh, he can only be lifted. So he cannot go to get on the vehicle. No, 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 no. He can't go on the vehicle. Here he has to live on the hammock. 
that shows you that he, he is the only one. He has to be taken through his city using the hammock. Even his, the, uh, the, the grand entry of the, the, the arena, he has to come with on the, on the hammock. Yeah. yeah, and you can see that uh, you know, people will still have to follow him. They will have to follow him, and this is a long stretch from here to the palace. To the palace, yeah. yes. <laughs> okay, so so there's excitement. Everyone, you've seen there, we have uh, foreign nationals who have just come to celebrate the ceremony. Yeah. So uh, now, as we wind up, uh, you know, Mr. Mumma, let's talk about now. This is the climax of this uh, event. Just, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how you know important this event has been here. No, it has been very important and uh, important to us, in the sense that we've been able to deliver what we started, and also we have uh, learnt a lot. We are learning a lot every year. We are transitioning to right. do it better. Thank so, you so much. Thank Mr. you so much. Thank well, you that so is much. Uh, Mr. Muma Lumpa who has been obviously giving us uh, the uh, nitty gritties of what has been happening here and also throughout the event and what you've seen here. And I'd like to thank you so much for watching uh, this uh, wonderful Mutomboko ceremony. We were live from, uh, you know, um, Mwansa Bombwe in Luapula province on behalf of the entire production team. My name is Obinato Saidi. Let's meet next year right here. And it's goodbye for now. Where are your friends? Don't worry, the big boys are coming. I will stay loyal to you as I am to Sporting Bets. I will share my booking.